Hello so guys, today I'm going to show you some couple of ways how you can fix this problem on Fall Guys fail to login problem. So most likely it happens on the PC itself. So I'm going to show you some couple of ways why this happens and also some couple of fixes. So let's start it off. So guys, the number one reason why you could have this problem is because your internet connection is too bad. So first off, I'm going to show it for the consoles and then I'm going to go over to the PC. So on the console, what you want to do is you want to go to settings and on settings, you want to go to network. It's also the same on the Xbox one. And now go to test internet connection. So by the way, guys, if you please could like and subscribe though, thank you so much. That will really help me out. So like you see, my internet connection is pretty much enough to play this game. You want at least about like 15 Mbps on a connection speed download and on connection speed upload, it doesn't really matter on that one, but on connection speed download, it wants to be at least on 15 Mbps. The reason why is you could uh, play lag free without any problems if you have 15, but also 10 is also enough. But now let's go over to the PC. So if you're on a PC, what you want to search up is you want to search up speed test like this. Now, like you see on the first side, And now guys, you just want to click on go. So guys, you should see this and now it will just test your internet connection. So I think I am connected to my 2.4 uh, Wi-Fi connection. It, it also gives me like low internet connection on that one, but I could uh, like change it. It will give me better internet connection if I change it. So guys, like you see, my internet connection is now a lot better. So if you have like a 2.4 internet connection and also a 5.0 connection, what you want to do is always change it to 5.0 because that internet connection is a lot better than 2.4. But not everyone has it, so um, it just matters on your internet connection surface and stuff like that. So guys, if you have this problem that I told you and you have pretty bad internet connection after testing your speed test. So what you want to do is you actually want to go ahead and look into your modem and you want to make sure that your modem isn't like about like five to six years old. If you also want to check your profiler, how much internet connection it gives to you, like sometimes like my internet connection, I can go up to 50 Mbps because my profiler gives me uh, that option, but I cannot go up like I cannot go up to 55 or 60. It's the maximum amount of 50. So you first want to check on that. But if you have like 50 Mbps on max from your profiler, but once you test your internet connection and it gives you about like only 5 Mbps or maybe even Kbps, that's a lot worse. What you want to do is you want to call them up and you also want to ask them for a new modem and they will always give you a free modem. That's actually what happened to me. I had like a pretty old modem in my house and it stopped like working it only gave me like kbps or 2 mbps it was pretty bad internet connection but on the website it said that it gave me like 50 mbps but that wasn't true so you called them up and they changed our modem and now we get up to like 45 mbps so it could also happen that your modem is just too old but if you don't want to do all of that, but that's just an option. That's the best option what you actually can do just to change your modem if you have a old one. If you don't want to do that or your modem is pretty new, you can always use a Ethernet cable. A Ethernet cable is directly connected with your router or modem and with your PlayStation, Xbox or your uh, PC laptop. But if you don't want to use a Ethernet cable and carry all those cables around. What you also could do is using DNS codes that I'm gonna show you right now. So guys, to access your DNS, what you want to do on the consoles is you want to go to settings. And later on, I'm gonna show it for the PC. You want to go to network. On network, you want to go to 
set up internet connection and now if you are using LAN cable you want to click on LAN cable if you are using Wi-Fi you want to click on Wi-Fi so for right now I am using LAN cable that's why I will be clicking on LAN cable but I will say guys the settings on the Wi-Fi and LAN cable will be the same so now you want to select custom <coughs> and on here you want to do automatic the ACP's host name you want to do do not specify DNS settings you want to go to manual now on here we are going to use some DNS codes and I will say right now guys it won't work for everybody that's watching this video for some people it will work pretty great so this is the first DNS codes that I want to show you guys a tag a tag a tag 8 and the secondary one is a tag a tag 4 tag 4 so this is a DNS code what you can use guys and now you can click on select do automatic do not use and you can just go ahead and test your internet connection but if that doesn't work great for you there's also another DNS code that I want to show you guys and here you go And if you test these uh, DNS codes and it doesn't work great for you, what you also can do is you can just go ahead and delete them by just selecting on easy. So once you select on Wi-Fi or LAN cable, you just want to select on easy and then it will just uh, remove all of the DNS codes. Now this is a DNS code which you also can, also can fill in. And now let's go to the secondary one. I mean the next DNS code. So this one is a bit longer actually. It's gonna be this one. This is from Yandex. The first DNS code that we use is from Google. The secondary DNS is from Cloudflare. Here you go. And now a last DNS code. Let's go ahead and enter that. And then I'm gonna show you how to how to do it on the PC itself. So I actually did something wrong on that one. Let's try it again. So once you do like a wrong DNS code, you will be warned and it will just go out and uh, it will just don't save. So that's how you know you did the DNS code wrong. But this one is now right. You can even look it up if you want to, if you're not sure. Now you can click on next, automatic, do not use, and just test your internet connection. And you want to make sure that you test your internet connection till uh, the connection speed uploads. You want to make sure everything is successful. And now let's go, just go back. I just don't really use DNS codes because I am using a LAN cable and my internet connection is already great. But the people that use Wi-Fi is the most effective for the people that just use Wi-Fi. And if your DNS codes, uh, you tried like every DNS codes on this video and still doesn't work out, what you can do is you can just change it back if it gives you like worse internet connection. So what you want to do is that you say that you're using LAN cable or Wi-Fi. What you want to do is you simply want to select on easy and once you select on easy it will just default all of your DNS settings and just test your internet connection and you can even go ahead and go to custom and check by yourself if it will say 0.0.0, .0. so it will be on default. Now let's go over to the PC. Now guys I'm going to show you how to do it on the PC. So what you want to do is you want to go over to here. And now you want to click on here and now you want to search up control panel 
and you will see it over here control panel and just select on enter and now on here you want to click on network and internet on here you want to click on network and sharing center and now go over to here change adapter settings and now you want to check out which internet connection that you're using right now so what you can do is you can go over here and now see which internet connection that you're using so if you are using like this internet connection uh, just select on that one and if you are just using a ethernet cable just select on that one so now like you see guys i'm using this one what you want to do is you want to right click and now you want to go over to properties and on here guys you want to click on internet protocol first four and now click on properties again so you will get this right over here and you want to select um, this one use the following dns server addresses and now like i did on the ps4 you can just um, go ahead and go back to the video and just enter the dns codes that i used earlier on the ps4 like 8.8.8 .8 .8. And on the secondary DNS, it was 8.8.4.4, like this. And now you can just click on OK. And now you are good to go. So now you have entered a DNS code. And like I said, guys, if it doesn't work great, you can just go back, go back to properties, internet protocol, and then just delete all of these off. Or you can just select this one. It will just delete them all automatically and just click on ok so now you have no problem at all now let's go to the next reason why you could have this problem so if you tried anything on this video right now and it still doesn't work out you have a great internet connection or you just skipped forward because your internet co connection is already great what you could do is you can go to the twitter account of fall guys and sometimes guys the servers are down on fall guys itself so if you see like a post that says that the servers are down most likely like i said the servers are just down you have to wait like it could take about 30 minutes one hour or maybe two hours it depends on themselves and also guys what you also can do is if they are not announcing it you can just go ahead and go to the comment section of twitter and look on here so sometimes a lot of people will uh, will spam like at the same time because everyone's like offline or what you also can do is you can just look on my video on the comment section on my video and if you see like a lot of people saying it on like two minutes ago or five minutes ago or a couple seconds ago most likely like i said the servers are down so the only option is just to wait and that's it so if you want to join the Arrowfix community guys on the ps4 you can always do that so here you see Arrowfix or kiri that's my main community on the ps4 i have the same community on the xbox so you can also join that and i'm gonna end this video right now guys i hope i helped you i hope some steps uh, i mean some tips worked out for you and also guys if you please could leave a like and subscribe thank you so much you can also follow me at twitter and instagram i will leave a link in the description down below and take care of yourself guys.